come from the left. You were a member of the Labour Party. You're not opposed to a two-state settlement uh, under certain circumstances. So how do you reconcile seemingly contradictory things? The reason that I speak about it, write about it, is precisely because I care about getting to peace. Uh, I call myself these days a long-term peace activist because in my days in the 80s and 90s when I was a member of the Labour Party and uh, voted for Rabin and later for Barack, like many in the peace camp, I believe that this was a territorial conflict that will be resolved by territorial means. And therefore, we need to get out of the West Bank, we need to get out of Gaza. I very much supported the disengagement from Gaza. Let's just get out of it and let the Palestinians rule themselves. Uh, I always supported the partition of the land and I continue to support, I continue to say that I believe that the Jews and Arabs of this land would best be served by governing themselves by themselves. It's just that now I understand that the obstacle to that vision has only ever been one. It has been the total Arab denial that the Jews have a right to a state anywhere, in any size in the land. So if that's the opening position, uh, that the Jews cannot have a state, then we cannot have a two-state solution if there isn't even an acceptance that one of those states will be Jewish.